the word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, the unique spiritual life, and to be a pastor teacher by rightly dividing the word of the Lord, demands nothing but the bona fide gift from the head of the department of the church. No man can elect because with man it is impossible, but with God it is possible, saith the Bible for us. And that bona fide gift have to be for you from the head of the department of the church. So much of learning or the much knowledge under this heaven or under the sun of this earth will definitely not qualify you to become a pastor teacher until and unless Lord God the Father through his son gives you this bona fide gift and as you train up with a temporary sacrifice in your life by giving number one priority for Bible doctrine and the right pastor teacher who could be a human mentor followed by the divine mentor till then you can never really come to know what is being destroyed in the churches today today when the word of the Lord tells for us in the completion of canon in Romans chapter 16 verse 20 that you can trample Satan under your feet very shortly as you follow in Colossians 4 3 the rule of the mystery doctrine of the church age but this man today they are not able to understand the simple truth but rather they have really changed the scenario and they are saying if you're not being baptized with the Holy Spirit you're having demon possession and they are saying so many things like healing miracles of tongues they are saying your house is possessed with demon. They are saying all X, Y, Z reasons. Why? Because this man who are been there have not read the Bible at least once in their life. And they want to follow and believe this lies. And in my country, India, it is very great. And I hope this is also possible in each and every part of the world. Because they have not come to be enlightened in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. That's why. And men have really trampled my Lord's word under their feet rather than trampling Satan under their feet. Because they do not know the truth. Why? Because there are no enough men to raise their voice and preach like a Trump hat. Herald like a Trump hat. Because they are not prepared. They don't have the charge given by God to tell those things. They want to say something about tithes. They want to beg something about morality. They want to tell about XYZ methodologies and go out. But they don't want to tell what is this unique spiritual life. They don't want to tell that there are no tithes in the New Testament. They don't want to tell that we have something known as virtue rather than morality in Christ through the knowledge of Bible doctrine. They don't want to tell all these things. Because they themselves do not know. And do you know what they're doing? They're making the pleasant portion of Lord into a dissolution. And there is no one who can lay it to their hearts, said the Bible, in Jeremiah 2.11. Can you build up that gap? Can you be a man of a key person in that real? We know you won't because you are a hired pastor teacher. You are a higher man rather than being the authority man from God. Because you want to worry about your softies, about your life, about your future security. If you tell there are no tithes, people will throw you out, or the church committee will throw you out. That's what your idea will be in your brain, not in your soul. And many men have come to the pulpit today just to enjoy this money. The money which is an unrighteous one, the money which is perishable one. And they are working for this food which is perishable rather than working for the food which is not perishable. And it is of a great pain for us to tell. Until and unless it is being made by God, you cannot work out. You cannot look this burden. You cannot think of this reality. But you will be much involved in thinking that which is not. 
So, dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our headboard and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In our way, telling to God the Father, that we believe upon Christ, that is the movement of salvation and eternal truth. This eternal truth for us, for very simple believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great marriage to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, learn to know the memory scholar of doctrine, so that for the reality of the word, and for the pastor teacher, the great man it is to Kerusothon Lagan, herald the word in season out of season because of the diamond from my witnesses where they've been called, and not to worry about the softies, the softies of this world, which is nothing valuable than dust. So which way you want to go, you desire, work for that which is imperishable, that is nothing but the knowledge of Christ, to love, to know the love of Him. We shall continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege of us giving a fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, land us on the things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.